putting murder devices in my body while giving birth to children, putting torture and murder devices in my children's bodies, stealing from my womb while I was sleeping to play Hollywood, you know, games are acts of cowards. Putting people in front of themselves, playing the Confederate War, putting people as human shields using the Southeast Knight symbol and Blue Cross Blue Shield symbol, putting people in front of them as human shields are acts of cowards. Planning espionage using my body, my life, and my mind as a weapon against the United States is an act of a coward. All the things you've done to me and my children, playing a coup game, gang banging me and my children is an act of a coward. This is what cowards do. This is what traitors do. As I said, trafficking my life because you wanted to traffic espionage is not political. As I said, you have forfeited your presidencies by planning espionage, by entrapment and sabotage. You plan war crimes unto me and my children. You plan war crimes unto the United States, which do not fall upon me and my children. You can't use your inequality and your sexism to blame me because you're a coward. You use the public to, to protect you, to lynch me and my children playing Dorothy Lynch salad dressing. You're cowards. You couldn't do that. You infringed upon my rights in, initially to protect the country because you thought you could make my life, my body, a weapon and blame me for it, which is an act of a coward. I went all the way to the Canadian border, as I said, three years ago to try to protect the country. You wanted to mock me with Yankee Doodle Dandy and Yankee Hill Brick of Lincoln, Nebraska. You blocked me from entering Canada illegally. Illegally, you blocked me from Canada. Mafia, Kim was following me. To I saw her in Sacramento. Or it was, yeah, it was Sacramento when I pulled in the train station. When I was pulling into California, she was at one of the intersections. As I said, you blocked me from entering Canada to try to protect the United States, which is really pathetic. Okay, this is really pathetic. I tried to go to Canada to protect the United States. It's, that's, how, that's how bad things are. I tried to go all the way to Canada. I couldn't get in. I was in Bellingham, Washington when I left a message for Mr. Bell at the FBI in Lincoln, Nebraska saying I was in Bellingham, Washington. I couldn't get into Canada. And I had done I had done everything in my best ability to try to protect the country and I'm not going to take any responsibility for the fact that they wanted me to investigate me and then beat me for it. I mean, they wanted me to investigate them and their crimes playing their yellow brick road or their puzzle. They wanted me to investigate them playing their wall game. I don't know, Pink Floyd or some trash. Uh, some, some trashy thing they made up, right? It's not Pink Floyd. It's not really a wall. It's a wall of crime, okay? It's not a wall of people obeying the laws. They failed their oaths saying they mock the, the laws of the United States, they call themselves communists. It's a wall of crime. It's not a wall of them obeying the laws. It's a wall of crime. So they wanted to mock me with uncovering their, their crimes, mock me with Sherlock Holmes. And then they wanted to beat me for it. Every time I uncovered more evidences, of them plotting against me, my children, or the country, they wanted to beat me for it. And that's what they've done for seven years. 
They planned seven years of abuse to me and my children to mock me with their own corruption playing Noah's Ark. Uh, the 40th Sea Lot parking lot, the Sea Lot parking lot, Southeast Nights between Pawnee and High Street. They wanted to mock me with their criminal activities and say they wanted to ship me off for their corruption, bees, knees, mocking me with nuns, kneeling, and corruption. Kneeling when you pray. They wanted to mock me with their corruption and kill me for their corruption, calling me their personal Jesus. No. As I said, I have done everything to my best ability for this country. Regardless of how many sabotages I've been put in, regardless of entrapment, regardless of entrapment, regardless of as many as many sabotages I've been in, I have still tried to do the best that I could do. I've tried to protect people. I've tried to my children. I've tried to protect people out there in the public. I've tried to look out for you know anything that I've seen, which would protect the country and these people only look for ways to cause more problems and to destroy this country because they're all anarchy, Armageddon uh, kill happy people they like to kill people, they like to hurt people they like to plot against innocent people they like to hurt children and so forth, they're cowards this is the most cowardly coup ever in world's history considering they wanted to go up against me and my children alone and proclaim that the federal government wanted to go up against and plotted against me and my children for 30 years as well. I don't see the point of it. They're saying that everybody wanted to go up against me and my children because they wanted the government to make money, they wanted people to make monies for themselves making the federal government go broke. They're saying that all the employees of the federal government planned espionages and wanted to murder me for it. Because they're all pocketing money is what they're trying to tell me. And I said, well, that's what they're giving me the concept of with the uh, higher aspects of the federal government. I said, well... There's some things you don't do for money. You don't make an example in a, in, a, in a country of democracy of how you break all the laws. That's not a good EG example. You don't cowardly use innocent people's lives, American-born citizens, as weapons against your own country and then blame them for it, meaning me and my children. So this is the most cowardly coup ever in history of the world. And I gave no contest from day one. People are my witness that I gave no contest of a coup. Uh, it wasn't my coup. It was other yellow people with the presidents and their Leo Taxel scam. Kim and Shannon uh, being yellow, I presume. And then George Bush and Barack Obama sandwiching me in using my life as a weapon, they wanted to blame me for their communism. And they've never let me go. That's the only thing I had asked for over the years is give me my children and let us go. They would never comply. They would never, they never have made an attempt to negotiate with me and my children in the, in, since I woke up. As people know, I was sleeping for 25 years. They woke me up to start gang-banging me and terrorize my life. That's an act of a coward. They woke me up, you know, wanted me to get pregnant to put torture devices in my body. That's an act of a coward. They wanted to torture me to uncover their crimes and then say they wanted to ship me off for their corruption and murder me and my children in vain for their vanities and their Hitler money. Their espionage based made money. And the facts are is the left and the right, George Bush, Barack Obama, you are cowards. Your commies' elbows, your, el your hobnobbing elbows, your doorknobs, your hobnobbing socialism. You're treating people like animals using the Henry Dorley Zoo with the Van Dorn Federal Prison and Van Dorn being where the Southeast Knights High School is in your medieval torture. 
torture, medieval torture they got from Southeast Knights. And the and the Fortieth Street, Fortieth Street is where C lot for the high school is. And if you look up the definition of rude, R O O D, and you'll know. As I said, you are cowards. George W. Bush, you are a coward. You're a weaseling coward. Barack Obama, you're a co coward. You want to play your little Mr. Rogers land of make-believe. 10-4, you tell everybody in the Lincoln Journal Star all your dirty, dirty crap, and then you pretend it's not real. You want everybody to pretend that me and my children aren't real, but everybody, you know, everybody, you want everybody, you're telling everybody to be in denial, basically. You tell everybody to be in denial for the truth of what you do or what you tell them. You've told people what you do directly. And you say, oh, everybody pretend for me, is what you tell everybody. You are the most conniving, backstabbing, undermining, uh, traitors ever in the history of this country. You can't use a person's body and their mind as a weapon and then blame them for it because that's an act of a coward.